Okay, we are just going to do a little experiment in physics and uh, I'll set this up and get it going and I'll provide a little bit of dialogue. So first of all you can see that we've got some cards put down here near the edge of the bath in the subject bath and we've got some along here and we're going to place this camera on that stool so that you can see the whole thing and we've also taken some photos of this with a still camera so you can get exact measurements um, and we'll go from there. You'll note that the bath is full at the moment and now I'm going to zoom in just on the two cards right at the end there so that you can see now you can see the um, gap uh, between the tiles and the bath and this is the gap that our expert witness tells us um, doesn't exist because the bath can't have dropped all right so at the moment you'll notice that the bath is full so this is an experiment in a Newtonian physics the third law um, which says that uh, uh, forces go in an equal and opposite direction so the bath at the moment um, unlike what our expert says um, isn't being forced straight downwards it's ballooning in all directions because of the force of the water so uh, what I think you will see as we empty the bath is that the gap on this side on all sides in fact will reduce um, oh by the way you might notice um, that on this side here and it's a bit hard to show um, it's actually the whole bath is bent in the middle so it's actually dropping more in the middle than it is at the far ends and that's because that's where the actual timber at the bottom of it at the bottom plate is broken so in separate photos you can see that timber being broken and um, uh, because of that breakage there's obviously nothing underneath to support it so um, again the laws of gravitation come for four and um, that area of the bath is clearly unsupported and the worst of the mold and the worst of the damage um, is actually right where that card is just there which is also exactly where the original water leak happened to be uh, underneath and is exactly where the you can see in the still photos the bottom plate of the frame is completely devoid completely uh, eaten away by the hot water whereas you would expect that in that area according to our expert witness uh, we would see the most damage but in fact the most damage is in this area just here um, which is interesting um, and I think says a lot about our expert witness's ability to uh, understand uh, physics anyway um, if you become a builder you usually have had to have failed physics as a prerequisite. All right, so let's have a look at those cards here. I'm just going to leave this still and I'm going to do something really simple. I'm going to empty the bath. So my hands aren't going to leave my fingers. My wrists aren't going to leave my hands. I'm just simply going to pull the water, the bung out, and let the water run out. This takes a little while because it's quite a small little drain hole. Clearly, um, when you have a bath made out of fiberglass, which this is made out of fiberglass, it's actually relatively flexible, um, which is the reason why I'm told they put grouting in that underneath. So this one's actually got gr good grouting underneath and it doesn't move at the bottom of it. Um, you can jump in it if you like, it won't hurt it. Um, but um, obviously the walls of a fiberglass bath um, do move um, and uh, they bow in and out and also when they're installed they're supposed to be set I believe so that the edges of them 
uh, well supported so that um, we don't get the situation where the sealant breaks away. Right? Um, in this case, uh, this bath was built, was, was installed in 1993 or somewhere in the middle of 1993, 19, sorry, 2003, somewhere in the middle of 2003. And um, the codes at that time allowed the bath to be sealed to the edges, so the only real to the um, waterproof material on the walls. And the waterproof material is actually good old formica. It's um, very old formica uh, covered by tiles. Um, so that particular codes at the time um, meant that the uh, it needed to be well supported all around the edges otherwise you get the situation that we've got here where the bottom plate is rotted away entirely and the bottom plate um, allows the top plate to drop away because of um, gravitation uh, and because of gravitation um, and uh, Newton's third law, uh, the uh, gap, as you can see, is closing up. Uh, we've still got a little bit to go on the water. I'm sorry if this is boring you a little bit, uh, but I'm trying, trying to provide some reasonable commentary in the middle. Um, I'm not really a sportscaster, but um, you can hear the drains starting to run out now. Photos. I'm now going to take some photos with my still camera. Um, you'll see the timestamp of these versus the original photos. Right. Um, and you'll be able to compare the size of the gap versus the size of the gap that you saw originally on the photos and get a feel for how much. Now of course um, this has been a continuous thing so this is actually hasn't recovered to the original position it was because the um, normally there would have been a bit of spring in the whole thing when it was installed so what's happened is that um, um, this is in the real world, this would be originally the edges would have been well, were in fact significantly higher because the bottom plate wasn't destroyed and the top plate wasn't dropping. Um, so, um, and you can see that fairly clearly because the areas where I'll show you, I'll show you here, okay, um, you can see that the problem is much worse down there versus up here right, right to the edge there right and that's because the worst position of the damage underneath uh, where the bottom plate's been completely eaten away is just there and this all along here let me zoom out a little bit all right so uh, also along here, so the damage underfloor, underneath, is nowhere near as bad just there as it is just there. Um, therefore, logically, right, um, if you look underneath, which the um, expert witness um, appears never to have done, um, in, in spite of me uh, inviting him back to do it when my wife wasn't here two days later, and in spite of him agreeing to do so in NRMA, instructing him not to do so, right um, then if he had done that he might have actually looked up some of the laws of physics and been able to simplify this whole issue thank you for your time